This afternoon, we're going to take a look around the very striking Fairline Targa 28. This particular example, built in 1995, pair of Volvo CAD 32 170 horsepower diesel engines which were fitted in 2003. Now, the Targa 28, I'm sure you'll agree after watching this video, is a very, very pretty sports cruiser. And this one is no exception. Having gone through our workshop, she's been compounded, polished, anti fouled. Um, full mechanical PDI, uh, engines and drives have been serviced as required. Uh, specs pretty good as well, which um, we'll come to in more detail later, but she's had an updated Garmin chart plotter, well, Icon VHF, um, heating, battery charger, that sort of stuff. Canopy on it is in excellent condition. We didn't fit the canopy, but it's certainly, uh, it, it isn't old. I mean, I'd be estimating about sort of 18 months old, maybe, um, no more. Um, but you'll notice as well, they've actually fitted canopy sleeves over the stainless bars, which is a really good move because it stops the um, uh, bars marking the clear Perspex windows. Uh, makes a big difference. Uh, they keep, to long, uh, keep the canopy looking smarter for longer. Um, right, let's get in the cockpit and take a proper look round. Nice cockpit on the Targa 28. A lot of space, plenty of seating. You've got this fabulous sort of dining area where you know you'd easily get sort of five, six people sat around that. And then we have got a very nice uh, helm position with navigator's position. Um, if it's just the two of you on the boat, then um, you know you've both got two very, very comfortable seats. But then if there's a party of people. You know, you really can spread out and you get full use of that cockpit. Got this sort of teak style floor as well. It's a slightly spongy uh, floor, so it's quite quite pleasant to walk upon and looks really smart. The dashes have also been upgraded. Um, they've been wrapped in this carbon fibre style uh, vinyl wrapping. Uh, nice job has been done though. Yeah. Obviously all the gauge has been taken out, it's been done properly. Looks really good, looks really smart. You also notice we've got a solar panel uh, fitted here, so constantly charging. That's just on the back of the dash here, or top of the dash even. This is, as I said a bit earlier, canopy it's got to be nearly new, absolutely unmarked, in very good condition. Very pleasant place for the cockpit. If you um, enjoy a bit of outside living, this would be a very, very comfortable cockpit to spend some time in. Right, let's go to the cabin. The first thing that strikes me sitting in this um, forward cabin is how light it is. Um, you've got this mixture of uh, sort of maple, uh, I think it's a maple wood, um, and then the uh, sort of cream GRP with vinyl inserts. It's, it's ever such a bright cabin, very, very nice. Um, functional galley, it is only a 28 foot sports cruiser, so there's not huge amounts of storage, but it's made good use of everything. You know, storage across the top here, um, and a locker down here as well. Um, electric fridge, we've got the gas oven and hob. This forward seating arrangement will fold down um, and create into a double berth. That'd be, I'm sure you'd agree, that'd be a quite a big um, berth. But you have also got the mid cabin, which stretches underneath the cockpit sole. 
Again, double berth. And there's the cushion there for the cockpit sun pad. So that table in the uh, cockpit will fold down as well and create a sun pad in the cockpit. We have got a small hanging locker. Ooh, I say small, especially full, uh, pretty good length and it's quite deep as well. Definitely bigger than I anticipated. But this is a nice cabin. Again, it's bright and light. You know, we look at the, the, the linings are all really good. The finish on the wood, from what I can see, is all pretty good as well. Still got a nice gloss and sheen to it. Um, that little seat I was just sitting on, um, it's very handy uh, if you're sort of, yeah, you know, if there's two of you in the cabin, you can, uh, you're not on top of each other, you can use that to get out of each other's way. And then we've got the toilet and shower compartment, manual flush Jabsco toilet, and shower. Headroom's good, you've probably about six foot's worth of headroom. Again, we've got storage running across the top here. Very nice feature, heating vent in the toilet compartment. Perfect for those cooler days. And there is also a fitted TV sat in the saloon. Very, very pleasant uh, accommodation in here. You know, I can't, you know, I can't stress enough. It's light, it's bright. Um, it's nicely finished as you'd expect from a fair line. Um, it feels a lot bigger than, you know, most 28 foot sports boats. I mean, it's got a lot of space, it's comfortable. And that is thanks to it, you know, using light colours and being, uh, um, you yeah, know, being very bright. Okay, all right, um, that's enough waffle. I will do a quick summary. Um, the boat is built, was built in 1995. Good spec, including heating, Garmin chart plotter, Icon VHF, got a solar panel, pair of CAD 32 diesel engines, which were fitted in 2003. Uh, more or less a brand new canopy. She's all been compounded, polished, mechanical check anti fouled you know, it, it, she's ready to go. Really nice example. Full details can be found on our website, www.mya.co.uk. Thanks for watching.